Hey there YouTube, I am back for another video. So if people knew me in real life, they would know that I have this low-key obsession with credit cards. One may even describe it as like a fetish. That's not the right word. So I really like credit cards and I think that you can get a lot of value out of credit cards if you know how to use them correctly. Now, just as a disclaimer, if you have credit card debt or you're not good at paying off your balance in full every month, then this video probably isn't for you right now. That being said, if you are part of the FIRE community and you are at that stage in your life where you can responsibly take on more credit, then by all means, go for it but make sure that you get a combination of credit cards that really optimizes how you spend your money. So I'm gonna separate this video into cashback credit cards and travel credit cards for the FIRE community. Here are some credit card combinations that I came up with that I think are really, really good. The first credit card combination that we're going to talk about is the Discover It, the Chase Freedom, and the US Bank Cash Plus credit cards. Now this takes a little bit of extra work, but if you don't mind doing a little bit of research and taking a little bit of time, and you don't mind rotating categories, this is a great credit card combination. The Discover It and Chase Freedom have 5% rotating categories throughout the year, including gas, groceries, department stores, drug stores, and a bunch of other things. And the US Bank Cash Plus card actually allows you to pick two categories for 5% cash back and one category, which is an everyday category, for 2% cash back. This is a very effective cash back strategy. If you don't like rotating categories, that's fine. I'm personally not a fan of cash back rotating categories as well. Um, but here's another credit card combination you should consider. The Amex Blue Cash Preferred, the Capital One Saver One, and the City Double Cash or Fidelity Visa credit cards. The Amex Blue Cash Preferred gives you 6% cash back on groceries and online streaming subscriptions, 3% on gas, and 3% on transit, including ride shares, trains, tolls, parking garages, you name it. I am a fan of this card over its little brother no annual fee card, the Amex Blue Cash Everyday card, simply because if you spend $3,200 on groceries and streaming subscriptions combined, you beat out its little brother no annual fee credit card. The next card in this lineup is actually the Capital One Saver One credit card, which gives you 3% back on dining and 3% back on entertainment. The reason I chose the Capital One Saver One card over the Capital One Saver card, which has a $95 annual fee, is because the 4% cash back categories, which are dining and entertainment, typically tend to be the categories that people in the FIRE community try to minimize their expenses. If you are actively trying to minimize your expenses and live a frugal lifestyle, you might be better off with the no annual fee Capital One Saver one over the Capital One Saver card. And the third card in this lineup is actually either going to be the City Double Cash card or the Fidelity Visa credit card. Now the City Double Cash card is really cool because you get 1% back when you spend money and then 1% back when you pay off the credit card. The Fidelity Visa is actually more interesting because you get 2% cash back only if you put it into a Fidelity Visa account. I prefer the Fidelity Visa over the City Double Cash simply because of the fact that it encourages investing. And the third cashback credit card combination that I'm gonna talk about is gonna be the City Costco Visa card and the um, City Double Cash and the uh, Fidelity Visa credit cards. Now the City Costco Visa card is really cool because you get 4% cash back on gas, 3% cash back on dining and travel, and 2% cash back on Costco. And like we said before, the City Double Cash and Fidelity Visa credit cards are very reliable for a 2% back consistent cash back return on your miscellaneous spending. Now, if you don't have a Costco membership and you are in a state that has a PNC, you might be able to get the PNC Cash Rewards credit card. Now, the PNC Cash Rewards credit card is very similar because you get 4% cash back on gas, 3% cash back on restaurants, and 2% cash back on grocery. This was actually my first real credit card, and it served me pretty well. Now that we talked about cashback credit cards for the FIRE community, I think it's important to talk about travel credit cards for the FIRE community. Now travel credit cards present a sort of predicament amongst the FIRE community. Typically, the bonus categories don't really match what people in the FIRE community spend money on. 
In fact, the bonus categories are categories in which the buyer community is actively trying to save money on, namely dining and travel. For example, the very common Chase Trifecta, which includes the Chase Freedom, the Chase Freedom Unlimited, and the Chase Sapphire Preferred or Reserve, is a credit card combination that everyone talks about. Everyone has to have the Chase Trifecta. But here's the thing. The Chase Trifecta allows you to take the Chase Freedom and Chase Freedom Unlimited points and transfer them into the Chase Sapphire cards. And whatever Chase Sapphire card you have, you get that perspective multiplier if you use it in the Chase Travel Portal, and you can get increased value if you take your points and transfer them to transfer partners. I think that this credit card combination is really effective for people who live in metropolitan areas where they commute using trains and buses and ride shares like Uber and Lyft, and a big part of lifestyle is dining. But what if this is your lifestyle? Instead of dining out, you tend to shop at supermarkets and make your own food. Instead of taking trains, buses, and ride shares, you drive everywhere. Instead of staying at fancy hotels, you'll tend to stay with family and friends for vacation. All of a sudden, you're finding yourself getting more value out of a no annual cash back credit card. Let's take the Amex Gold for instance. You have a $250 annual fee. But people will argue that because you have a $100 incidental airline fee credit and a $120 uh, dining credit, that the effective annual fee is $30, which is just simply not true. And even though it has strong multipliers, if you're someone that doesn't usually book through the airline or through the Amex travel portal, and if you're someone that won't take advantage of the dining credits, which by the way, they give in monthly increments, right? So you get like $10 a month then you might find that this credit card might not be for you either. And don't even get me started on City's travel credit cards. Even though City just announced that the cash back from the City Double Cash can be transferred into thank you points, as long as you have like the City Premier or the City Prestige, they just got rid of a bunch of travel protections in the last year. And why would you have a travel credit card that does not come with those travel protections? So here are some travel credit card combinations that might work for you as a member of the buyer community. So this credit card combination is actually not as well known as Chase City or Amex, but it's definitely a combination that should not be overlooked. And that is the Wells Fargo Propel credit card and the Wells Fargo Visa Signature credit card. So let's start with the Wells Fargo Propel credit card. The Wells Fargo Propel credit card gives you three points back on dining, travel, including airfare and hotels, gas, and streaming services. And it also gives you cell phone insurance, which is another place you can save money. And the Wells Fargo Visa Signature Card actually gives you five points back for the first six months on gas, grocery stores, and drugstore. This 5X multiplier is only gonna happen for six months. But this card has a superpower that no one ever talks about. If you have the Wells Fargo Hotel and take those points that you get from those categories, and transfer it to the Wells Fargo Visa Signature, you'll get a 1.5x multiplier if you redeem your points for airfare. So for no annual fee, if you redeem your points for travel, you'll basically get 4.5 cents cash back. The second combo that I'm gonna talk about is actually not a combo at all. It is one single credit card and it is the Bank of America Premium Rewards Credit Card. Now this credit card in itself gives you two cents back for travel and dining and 1.5 cents back for pretty much everything else. But this card also has a super power. If you are part of the Preferred Rewards program and have a certain number of money in Bank of America accounts or Merrill Lynch investment accounts, then this credit card becomes extremely powerful. As you put more money into these accounts, your multipliers for this credit card actually increase. And if you reach the highest tier on the Preferred Rewards program, you can actually get 3.5 cents per point back on travel and dining and 2.625 cents per point on everything else. Plus this card also comes with global TSA pre-check and a bunch of travel benefits as well. And the final combination I'm gonna talk about is the Hilton Honors credit card and the Fidelity Visa Signature credit card. Now the Hilton Honors credit card is a no annual fee credit card that gives you seven points back for Hilton purchases, five points back for gas, groceries, and restaurants, and three points back for everything else. Typically these categories are categories that everyone spends. And it's important to note that these points are only worth like 0.6 cents per point, but that's still a pretty decent return. 
The case can be made that you can go for a higher tier credit card, such as the Hilton Honors Surpass card, which gives you higher multipliers and gold status at the Hilton properties, and it also gives you lounge access if those things are important to you. And one thing that's really important to know is that the Visa Signature card actually comes with some travel benefits as well. And its foreign transaction fee is only 1%, which is lower than most credit cards that give you a 3% foreign transaction fee. And it's important to note that the Hilton credit cards are actually American Express credit cards. So it's important to have a credit card in your arsenal that is just more widely accepted. All right, guys, so let me know your thoughts. If you have any ideas for other awesome credit card combinations for the buyer community, please let me know in the comments down below. All right, have a good one, guys.